Welcome back guys to another week and another video. A pretty cool video for you guys this time around. I'm going to be talking about the artist and residency position I just finished up at Beacon Hills College last week. So an artist and residency position, just for those of you who are not familiar with the term, is essentially when a school, studio or whoever really brings in an artist to complete some work at a location that is away from their regular studio or space. So with the one I've just completed being in a high school, I also had the opportunity to talk to a lot of students as part of the program. So just to give you a bit of an idea of what my day looked like, the first day I essentially spent setting up my space, which was a live painting area in the school's visual arts centre. So whilst I was painting away throughout the day, students could stop by and see where I was up to and how my artwork was progressing along. After I was fully set up, I pretty much got stuck straight into my first piece. I think on the first day I only spoke to one class from memory, but the following days it was about two to five classes a day and that would be, uh, they would be just sort of brought out in, in class groups um, to have a little bit of a chat whilst I was working. So this would give me the opportunity to talk to the classes, to the students, um, discuss with them what it's like to be a local artist, uh, what my work is about, some of my methods and techniques and hopefully just open their eyes a little bit um, into the art world outside of what they normally see in class. I haven't done a lot of presenting um, and I was a little bit nervous in the beginning um, mainly just because everything that I was sort of presenting was all about me which is a bit weird. I wasn't at uni doing a presentation about one of the masters in design or painting uh, instead I was up there sort of just talking about myself and my childhood and um, where I sort of like found my passion for art and that sort of thing. But I eventually found my groove after a day or two and sort of had key talking points that, that I would sort of discuss and it, it became really, really crazy. Uh, and then at the end of each little talk we would have a little question and answer session which were always a lot of fun. The young kids always asked completely random questions about my life um, and sort of what I like to do other than painting, whether it was sports or what movies I liked or if I played video games or blah, blah, blah. And then the older kids would ask more sort of business or technique related questions. So there was good variety and it was, it was a lot of fun. It was a really refreshing and humbling experience for me since my normal day to day, I'm painting the studio by myself. So it was really cool to have classes and teachers pop by and comment on the work whilst I'm in progress and sort of give me the opportunity to reflect and discuss out loud with like-minded people sort of about my work. I was, uh, I was asked to do a second painting after completing this one, which I will have a video for probably next week. And the head of the visual arts center of the school there really liked the idea of having the canvases be the exact same size. So since that was the case, I decided that I really wanted them to relate strongly together. So after I finished this painting that you're seeing now, the first painting, what I decided I was going to do uh, was simply flip the concept of this painting on its head. So instead of having the ocean appear in the bread as a spread, I was going to paint a piece of toast surfing down a massive wave. And this was like sort of one of the common questions that I got asked by uh, students of all ages really was how do I come up with my ideas and, and where do I get them from and this was sort of a what like my way of trying to explain and show the students that it's just about looking at different things in a sort of unique and different perspective so even though I'd finished this painting I as, as simply as just flipping the painting on its head uh, doing the exact opposite I could come up with another painting that was pretty cool and unique and uh, sort of coincided with the first painting. So whilst we're talking about this first painting, I might dive into the sort of concept a little bit further. But firstly, sort of, I've really noticed lately that after years and years of feeling a little bit lost and confused in what I wanted to do with my art, I think I've finally found a bit of a style and somewhat of a direction that I really want to see with how far I can sort of push and explore. And this is something that I've spoken about briefly in previous videos. But the sort of core of this idea are these uh, realistic and sort of surreal compositions in which I'm contrasting real and surreal elements in making these dreamlike uh, ideas and concepts. So with this particular painting, um, I knew that I wanted to replace the spread on the toast. That's, that's where the, the 
core of the idea began. And from there, I explored a few different ideas. But as per usual, I came back to the ocean. There's something about the ocean for me that's it's just so relaxing and holds and adds so much character to a, to a composition and it's a lot of fun to paint. So like many artists, it's, it's already becoming a little bit of a theme in my work. Overall, the Artist in Residency was an amazing experience. I can't thank all of the teachers who hosted me enough and all of the students that stopped by and showed interest and asked questions about my work. I will have a video next week probably on the second painting, so if you have any questions you would like me to answer about the experience, drop them in a comment below and I'll be sure to answer them in the next video. I'm going to be that guy and say it, if you have enjoyed the video, drop a like and subscribe. Uh, if you hated it, I doubt you'll still be here. To anyone that made it this far, thank you so much. Um, I'm going to leave it there for this one guys. I'll let the music write this one out and I will see you in the next one. Thank you.